Yo, 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 what is good? It's Ricky Dice. I'm here. Just to say, New York City and New Jersey is all fucked up from this rainstorm. Supposed to go to the gym yesterday. When I got home, when it started raining, my entire street was flooded. I came and get to my truck. Waking up this morning, wanted to go to take the train. The trains were messed up. Coming out from New Jersey. Seems like NYPD got something cooking up. Oh yeah, that video with the NYPD yesterday. I mean, the ones when they were getting fucking doused with water. To the neighborhood, it's payback. Fuck it. We ain't fucking harm you. We ain't fucking fight you. All right. One of the cops got hit over there with a bucket. I mean, hey, you got doused with water. <clears throat> what you gonna do? You gonna shoot somebody? Douse you with water? <laughs> Water's not a weapon. It was a hot day. Fuck it. I mean, it's funny at first, then I see why the cops did not took action or didn't flinch or even call for backup and had the entire block arrested or whatsoever. Hey, it's just no harm, no foul. You know what I'm saying? No harm, no foul. Just let it go. When cops beat up on, when cops beat up and roughed up black and Hispanic people on the street for no apparent reason, then yeah, you know, you want this community relationship with the police department? There's nothing wrong getting wet. If some little ass eight year old black boy throw a fucking water balloon at you, and you all of a sudden draw out your gun and want to arrest him for assaulting a police officer with water with a water balloon just let it go just let it go man for real I lived in New York City my entire well most of my life just let it go I'm saying this is something nice little breakthrough for community relations with the police department the cops are so much uptight You know, even when I was living in Nassau County, and I actually got to know majority of the police in there, over there and stuff, because they actually come out to, they come out to the churches, they talk, they, they come out to the community, you know what I'm saying, gatherings and parties and shit, you know what I mean, they're there, you know what I'm saying, they come up in uniform, they come up and they just their clothes and bring their families, they communicate with the people in the neighborhood. That's what we want in New York City. Police and community relations. That's all we ask for. So I remember growing up in the 90s. 80s and 90s. Growing up. That is one cop. That, that patrolled my block for over 30 years. He was there numerous times because that's what they like. They like to, he knew the people, he knew the neighborhood, he knew everybody. Before shit changed up and you know, cops ain't walking the streets no more. They pretty much didn't throw them up in squad cars and just drive them around, but not this cop that I used to know. Came up talk to the people, talk to whatever was going on, if there was an issue in the precinct, he'll find out, or if one of the, if one of the, you know, if one of the black guys, or young black students, or kids, or whatever, or Hispanic, got locked up, he will go find out, see what happened, and shit ain't the same no more, shit changed. You know, it'd be nice to have more police officers just walking 
on the streets, in the neighborhoods, talking to the people, get to know them, you know, just patrol the same neighborhoods. You get to know the people, the people get to know you, and that's when they can build up trust. It's like, you know, if you have another beef with another police officer from another station or whatsoever, you can always talk about it to your neighborhood police officers that actually patrol and walk the streets of New York. Just like in my area in New Jersey, I got, I have police officers actually just come actually come around and talk to me. They walk the neighborhood. They be in a park <laughs> playing basketball with the kids. They'll be at uh, at street fairs. They'll be at somewhere. That's how the neighborhood gets to know the people in other neighborhoods. Son of a bitch. Somebody just blocked my damn access to the driveway. <laughs> Oh well, yo, I'm Ricky Tice. I'll be back later with another vid. Stay safe. It's fucking crazy in New York City. Traffic's crazy. Everything's all crazy. So, safe out there. This rain is off the chain, man. Peace.